Travel scams suck. But do you know what sucks even more? Getting scammed before you even step foot in your destination. That's right, airport scams happen more often than you'd expect, especially if you don't know what to look out for. My virtual assistant almost got scammed on a recent trip to Cancun. She flew in and booked a shuttle to pick her up at the Cancun airport. After landing, she exited the airport looking for the shuttle pickup area. The taxis obviously weren't going to help her, so she started searching for someone that works with an airline. You know, those people who stand in front of the check-in line telling you which gate to go to. She found a guy who had a green logo on his shirt and what looked to be a badge. He was also standing in front of the check-in line for Frontier Airlines, which happens to be the green airline. So she asked him. He walked her to a taxi driver and explained that the shuttle was at Terminal 3 and that she needed to take a taxi because it was impossible to walk there. Both the driver and the helper said that the price was 400 pesos. This seemed a little bit off, so she went back into the airport to find someone who actually worked at the airline check-in desk, not just someone who was loitering around it. They told her that people dress up all the time as airport employees to try to scam unsuspecting travelers. There was no reason for her to go to a different terminal because the shuttle stopped at every single terminal. I can guarantee you that Cancun isn't the only airport where this type of scam happens. More of the story, when you need help at an airport, double and then triple check that the person you're talking to actually works at the airport and isn't just someone who's trying to make a quick buck. Next, the airline phone scam is pretty crazy and I bet it tricks people every single day. The kicker is they actually try to steal from you before you even get to the airport. Basically, scammers will list their phone numbers online and then trick Google into ranking them for keywords like American Airlines customer service, for example. When this happens, you might search for an airline customer service number on Google and instead of showing you the official number, you'll get the scammer's number. So if you were to call them, say, to change your flight, they would ask for your details and you get the picture. I'll link to a video below from a channel called Pleasant Green, where this guy actually gets on the phone with the scammers, plays into their trap, and then exposes them. Before I get into the next scam, give this video a thumbs up if you're learning something so far. Okay, moving on. I've heard so many stories of renting cars at the airport that I actively avoid doing it. But sometimes you're just going to need a car. It's unavoidable. And the best way to avoid getting scammed is to know what to look for. When they take the car out in the lot, before you sign the papers, before you jump into the car, before you do anything, you need to inspect the car. Look for any damages inside or outside the car. Scratches, dents, rips, anything that they could hold you accountable for, take a picture of it. Better yet, take a slow walk around video of everything. If the agent wasn't watching you as you were taking your photos, mention it to them so that they know that you know the exact condition of the car. Sometimes agents will try to pull a fast one over you, but if you're proactive, they won't have the opportunity. Also, don't forget to go through all those fees and charges in the rental agreement. Stay sharp. Next is the distraction airport scam. One time my friend was traveling from Thailand to Malaysia with a travel buddy. They were in the airport in Thailand and it was just one of those days where everything seems to be going wrong. They were fumbling around for their documents, things were all over the place, they didn't have their stuff organized, and long story short, they were just super frazzled. That's when an innocent looking woman walked by and asked them where the bathroom was. They really had no clue, but they started looking around for signs just to try to be helpful. And in those 10 seconds, the woman's accomplice strolled by and slipped my friend's wallet into her pocket, including her passport. Needless to say, they did not make their flight that day. This scam, which is essentially double team pickpocketing, happens all the time outside of airports as well, especially in places like Madrid, London, and Paris. This is to be expected, but when you're in the airport, on the other hand, it's easy to let your guard down and assume that you're safe. You might think you're smart enough to avoid these pickpockets, but trust me, some of these guys have been doing it longer than some of us have been alive. The best prevention is to stay sharp 
even if you're sleepy after a long flight. Keep your bag close and pack it strategically. Speaking of which, there is a right way and a wrong way to pack your bag. And this video shows carry-on packing mistakes that you'll want to avoid at all costs. Before we get into other sneaky scams, I was wondering if you've ever been scammed. Share your story down in the comments to help others avoid falling for it. Now, if you talk to anyone who's traveled internationally, they'll all tell you one thing about scams. Taxis are the worst. Just take a look at all these Reddit posts sharing taxi scams from around the world. Seriously, taxi scams could be a whole video on its own, but I wanna share three that can happen at the airport. First are fake taxi services at the airport. Remember my virtual assistant who almost got scammed out of 400 pesos because of the fake airline worker? Well, fake airline worker is only level one of this scam. In some other parts of the world, the actual legit airline employee will be in on it. Taxi drivers in certain areas, and in some cases unofficial taxi drivers, will give kickbacks to employees who send unsuspecting tourists their way. Then of course they charge crazy prices and you end up thinking it's just some weird airport thing. If you must book a taxi, use the official taxi booth at the airport. I usually only do this if there are no ride sharing apps or good other public transportation options. To be double sure, you can always message your accommodation beforehand and ask what a fair price for a taxi is. But the taxi trickery doesn't end there. Always, 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 and I can't stress this enough, always confirm the price beforehand. If not, you'll be in for an unpleasant surprise when you get dropped off. If there's a meter, make sure it's running. If it's broken, get out and find a different taxi. And even if the meter is working, make sure to pull up Google Maps while you're riding so that your taxi doesn't drive you around in circles. We made this mistake on our Patagonia trip and we end up paying triple. A lot of airports these days also allow you to prepay at the taxi booths. This is handy because you know the price ahead of time and can often pay with a credit card. Also, another thing to remember, taxis hate Ubers or any other rideshare app that competes for customers and prevents overcharging. Because of this, you'll often find that even before you step foot outside the airport, you'll have taxi drivers telling you that Uber isn't available. In some cases, this is true, but in many cases, they just are trying to prevent you from using Uber. My friend's family once took taxis all over Cabo for a few days because they told them that there were no Ubers in the city. After a few days, my friend popped open the app just to try, and lo and behold, Ubers galore. Long story short, don't just take someone else's word for it. Either ask at an official airport information desk or do some Googling on your phone before you arrive at your destination. Scams aren't the only thing you need to be aware of before heading to the airport. To learn about other flight secrets that airlines don't want you to know, check out this video next. And let me know what scams that you've seen while traveling in the comments below. All right guys, bye bye.